heat tape investigation. <clears throat> So, I didn't get the outlet hooked up yet, so I had to run the, the uh, extension cord. Now, I had the heat tapes on, but I didn't turn them on very early. It is melting, and it is giving me a spot for the shit to go. So, you can see the stuff. So but it does have a place to go. And looks like the gutters are burning clear and burning free. But I do have that. I need to put on the side the little diverter for the valley. But I think having the separate switches for the two circuits a good idea because I think you always want to run the gutter one first and um, and then the, the roof one later because the gutter one needs to be clear and I think the key is having thermostatic controls if you're not around you can see it's dripping maybe and it's dripping right there. So, anyway, there's no insulation on this part, so we're getting a lot more ice, I think. So, anyway, it's about 20 degrees out and have it on. Um, it is obviously important to have the heat tape on top of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the gutter guard. So, anyway, well, coming along. I wish I would have turned it on sooner, but I didn't. So I think maybe thermostatic control would be a good idea. You can see the ice, ice dropping down there after it. So yeah, that that one. So I think pulling them down tighter might be a better idea. So I didn't stick out as far because I'm getting this ice quite thick right there. So that's bad. So anyway, well, it is melting. So I guess it's giving a path of the water.